Hi everyone, uh, we got Sujan Pradhan today with us and uh, we wanted to understand his view, view, view of point uh, regarding what an employee expect from HR and uh, what, do, what do they perceive that HR department should, should do for an employee. Sujan is uh, currently uh, working as MIS executive and he is uh, uh, deputed in Samsung, uh, which is in Gurgaon. So, hi Sujan, how are you? Hi Govind, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, that's great. Sujan, uh, I want my viewers to know that from an employee perspective, okay. what an employee expect from a company? What are, the, what are the key points which you think that an employee should expect from company? Okay. Employer expectation from the employees? From, from the employer, from the company. Okay. You're working for Samsung. So, what do you, what do you expect Samsung should do for uh, its employees? Well, basically, an employee uh, expects uh, expectation is uh, like uh, employee expect like it's a good uh, culture should be there. All right. Good culture. All right. Culture in sense, ki, uh, uh, flexible working environment. All right. Okay. And uh, organization should give some opportunities to the employees so that he can go year by year or. Uh, over the period of time, all right. right. And uh, comfortable uh, employment organizations should uh, 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 give comfortable environment all right. to the employees, and uh, obviously good salaries, <laughs> correct good facilities, correct. Okay, these are all things. Uh, so when you say that the employer should give uh, flexibility in timing, okay. what does that mean? Like uh, in India, no, most I'm not talking about the flexibility in timing. All right. right. Flexibility in the work. In right? the work. In the work. What does it there mean? should not be so much pressure uh, from the management that hey, this should be done in that particular uh, period of time and all. Obviously, well, the pressure is there, right. but it should not be like he uh, his employees' uh, uh, normal life should not be hampered. You mean to say there should be a work-life balance in that? Yeah, case. work-life balance should be there. But I believe every company there should there are targets which employee need to complete. Yeah. So if employee if there is no pressure, definitely, if, definitely uh, the uh, target should be completed within time, right? Mm -hmm. If there is a tar target is not completed, definitely employee will walk over the time. Mm -hmm. They will stress the time. But it should not be every time mm -hmm. that you have to stay stress your time and give more time to the organization. All right. So, All right. so when you say that there are a lot of other facilities which you want from uh, organization that right. organization should give you a lot of other facility what does it mean like maybe are you talking about pick and drop facility or cafeteria yeah, pick, and, uh, pick and drop facility cafeteria like uh, and uh, insur health insurance proper health insurance would be there okay. and bonus like and incentive and all these all things should be there but, apart from the salary okay that's great but i i believe uh, you know nowadays i don't know whether people uh, as an employee, whether an employee value insurance uh, facilities given by uh, employer or not, because while doing a negotiation at the desk, mm -hmm. uh, employee is more focused on enhanced salary and they don't value the other things which employer is providing, maybe a car home loan, a car loan subsidy or a home loan subsidy. So do you think it really matters or, uh, or it, it enhanced salary is more important for uh, employee? Definitely enhanced salary is the more priority. All right, these all are the additional benefits which the employee expects. Mm -hmm. If these facilities like insurance are and all are not given, then definitely employee want the iron and salary more. All right, so. okay. Now it is about organization. Now, in every uh, company, there is a department called human resource department, which is yeah. supposed to be a bridge between uh, management and management uh, employee. And employee yeah. But I believe uh, HR department, uh, you know, uh, in, in its role. Uh, employees are not satisfied with HR because they think they are uh, speaking the language of management. Mm -hmm. At the same time, when management uh, review happens, then management thinks that the HR speaks the language of employee. Okay. Uh, I want to understand from your perspective as being an employee that what do you think an HR uh, you know should give back to employee? Or, or another way you can say, what do uh, what does an employee expect from uh, HR department HR company? Department. Definitely, uh, HR is HR, HR department plays the role between that employee and the management, right? right. And uh, HR means uh, HR should play a role like uh, uh, they should give chances to the they should review the employees 
and uh, they should understand and uh, uh, appreciate the work of the uh, employees, right? And uh, they should not be partial, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, they should re respect the work of the employees, and uh, this uh, they should be committed. Right. So they should be committed. Uh, if uh, something is committed to the employees while joining, uh, that should be fulfilled. Uh, that is the responsibility of HR department to fulfill on the time, like timely salary and bonus. These all things should be given on the time to time. So, okay. You also spend like I think you have you have been working uh, since last uh, ten more than ten years. You've been yeah. working. Okay. So and you have also associated yourself with various companies. Yeah. Do you think the HR of those companies, yeah. like all the companies you are associated with? Do you think this, uh, the HR of those companies uh, was able to play the role you expect the HR to play? No, no not exactly. They uh, can't. Uh, sometimes what happens, uh, HR department wanted to do something for the employees, right? But uh, they really could not do that. Because, why do you think so? Uh, because uh, obviously they have to uh, uh, follow the, uh, what I say, the order from of the management actually. Okay, sometimes uh, HR department uh, prepare some guidance or some uh, what, what do I call some policies, some good policies, uh, some policies for the some good qualities, so, some good policies for the employee. Employees but definitely they have to take permission from the higher authority. Correct. Right, and it goes, when it goes to the higher authority, then that time uh, higher management will uh, deny that. That so you feel they that will not uh, give permission. Okay, so okay. definitely sometimes HR do, uh, could not do what they wanted to do for the employees. So you think that the HR is the puppet in hands of management? Yeah, definitely, hundred percent, hundred percent. So how how you think as an employee this problem could be could be solved? If uh, man if uh, HR has to do whatever management expect, then why HR department should be there in the in the company? Can you repeat the question? I don't know. What I said is that uh, if you feel that mm -hmm. HR is is puppet in hands of management. Okay. So, uh, what do you think? How HR will be able to contribute? Because whenever HR will uh, plan for a good uh, welfare scheme or something where the management is getting benefited, okay. uh, the ban the management may not or may or may not uh, agree to the viewpoint of HR people. See, in that sense, okay, first uh, management should understand. Mm -hmm. Management should also come to uh, come into the level of uh, that HR, right? All right. They should also understand the problem and requirement of the employees. All right. Then only HR will be able to play the proper role for the uh, on the benefits of employees. Oh, that's all right. Thank you very much, Sujan, for uh, giving your time and sharing your Thank views you. with our viewer. Welcome. And hope that uh, they will uh, learn something from it. And uh, we hope that more and more employees will come together and share their viewpoint. Thank you very much for giving your time. Welcome, welcome. All right. Thank you.